Welcome to Team AJ's final project video presentation. This semester, we worked on general vehicle parking navigation with pipeline design. And so the problem that we aim to solve is avoiding accidents in constrained environment. And to do so, we implemented an automatic parking system that can reliably plan and execute a path to a specified parking location. The overall approach we use uh, is a pipeline approach. So basically, we get sensor data from our gym, uh, physical vehicle, and those sensor data are processed by our perception unit, which will give us obstacle information. Uh, the planner takes in those obstacle information along with other sensor data to generate a list of waypoints that the PID controller unit will follow. So we also made some extra uh, changes, uh, additional features to our hybrid A-star planner. Uh, basically, to meet the real-time heat constraints, we added three features. One is theoretically run the planners inside of every decision point. Two is setting a one second timeout. Three is dynamic. Changing the parameters. Two uh, types of perception that we followed were um, we tried yellow first, which is using the camera. And so that was for object detection. So as you can see in the image on the right, I detected a stop sign, det detected a person, and detected a car in the background. But a drawback of this was that it didn't have distances to the objects, which is something we needed for obstacle detection for our navigation. So we moved to LiDAR, and as you can see on the left, um, the green dot is the car, the red dot is the goal state, which is the parking spot, and the blue rectangle is the obstacle. And so the LiDAR of Texas is local to the car, but then we transform it so that um, we can use it when planning on the global map. Another aspect of our pipeline design was our um, control unit. And so um, our controller basically um, would get the X, Y, and yaw of the vehicle um, from the longitude, latitude, and the heading. And then based on the waypoints that were generated by the planner, it'd find the closest one to where the car was. And once it had this closest point, it would um, get the distance and then update our heading and then update the steering accordingly. And as you can see in this video, once it got, um, once the X and Y got close to the parking spot, which is our target, then it began to break and stop. So here we have some planner analysis. Uh, on the left, we can see the average time to plan. It is, we can see that 90 degree parking is a lot harder to plan than straight into the parking spot. And then the success rate on the right, you can also see 94% compared to 60% uh, success rate under time constraint. And then we have uh, on the bottom left graph, we have three of our runs recorded by GPS data. And in the middle graph, this is our the first trajectory. Um, we can see that compared to the planner at different time step, the actual trajectory in blue is follows pretty well compared to the plan trajectory. And here, this is one of our metrics that we use to uh, see how well our controller behaves. So DTW, uh, dynamic time warping, is one of the metrics that we used. Uh, here are three of the trajectories compared to its planned trajectory. And the DTW distances are marked uh, on the graph. And we can see that the, on average, it's uh, the DTW distance is around 0.7 or 0.8 meters uh, compared to the planned trajectory. So our controller follows the planner pretty well. And then here are some of our runs that uh, initially did not go so well. So here on the left, we have our car failing to detect the road boundary and going into the cone. And on the right, we have the car failing to detect me sitting on a chair and almost running into uh, the chair. But uh, thankfully, we stopped the car before it did. And so this experiment shows you know, proof of concept. On the right, we have an animation generated by uh, our hybrid A star code that is showing the waypoints that get created. And on the left, we have, uh, we're driving our planner with those waypoints. And as you can see, uh, even in a simple case, the car does come to an accurate uh, stop in the, in the box. In this case, um, the situation is a little bit more tricky. Um, we have an obstacle and we're starting from not going straight. And so as you can see, the car detects the chairs and drives um, on the right side of them. And then as you can see on the right um, video, um, this is the like, simulation view of what you just saw on the left. And you know, it, it does still get to the parking spot on time. This is a scenario where we uh, involve the perception units. Our uh, gym vehicle goes around the uh, obstacle, which we set potentially as two chairs. And you can see it goes around the uh, obstacle and uh, carefully uh, arrives at the parking spot successfully. Yeah, I really appreciate you know, the broad spectrum of foundational knowledge because you can imagine that as a student who wanted to uh, you know, dive deeper into any one of the areas. Hopefully, it wouldn't really be that big of a jump from you know the, the information learned in this class to you know the latest advancements in that area.
Yeah, and just something to add on. I thought it was, you know, super, super cool that we, you know, we had the MPs, but being able to actually towards the end of the class be able to apply everything we learned in the class and like be able to work on actual hardware and be able to see, you know, actually how our stuff works in the real world and you know, see it, you know, park was really, really fantastic and satisfying. And I, I really enjoyed that part of the class. I really like learning an intro on the pipeline with different steps, such as sensing, uh, perception, motion planning, and then control. I really liked how every all the MPs helped me learn uh, these each individual concepts in the pipeline and eventually getting a, uh, being able to implement it on the hardware is really cool. I, I learned a lot. I really enjoyed the class a lot and I want to say a big thank you to everyone on my team and the faculty member and our wonderful TAs. Thank you everyone.